All right, guys, you have spoken and I have listened. I just released the denoising video. Don't use optics denoiser. Well, you guys, the community figured it out and like I'm, I'm actually ecstatic. So now I'm making this new video, how to use Octane's denoiser. Let's get straight into it. All right, guys, credit. I got to give credit where credit is due. If we take a look here, we've had so many comments coming in here about the optics denoiser. I keep saying optics denoiser. Why? All the comments are absolutely great. And I, I got a lot of feedback. But this comment right here that just came in about an hour ago for me. All right, everyone, I have found the solution. Just turn on octanes out of cores for the memory limit. I only added 1024 to the default number 496, or you can add more if you have enough memory. For the headroom, I set it to 750 megabytes. I read that octane denoiser at least 500 megabytes for the denoiser to actually work, and it actually should work after immediately. So I immediately jumped on. I was like, okay, let me try this. I, I'm, I'm always open to try stuff. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna jump in. Let's give out shouts to Kala. Sorry if I mispronounced this. 3941. You guys can see him right there. Give him shout. Give him some love in the comments. I'm gonna give him a big thing here. I'm making a new video right now with I can spell with this info. It worked. And let's give him some emoji love. All right, guys. So go in the comments and give him some emoji love, guys. I want to thank everybody for all of these great comments. So much information was coming through here. Great community vibes going. I'm loving where this is going. And I'll, before we get into it, I also had one other comment. He was a little disappointed that he thought this was, I guess, title and thumbnail was a little bit clickbaity. Now, right off the bat, guys, I'm not in the game of playing this whole trying to get 100 million views. First of all, I already have a massive YouTube channel. It's called Patrick LeVar. I have over 140,000 subscribers there. I've got videos in the millions. That's that's not the issue with this channel. This channel was purely me wanting to share the knowledge because there is a lack of knowledge for Octane Blender. Let's get deep for a moment here. That's the reason why. So if this some of my titles or some of my thumbnails may come off clickbaity, there's no intention for clickbait here. Clickbait does not do any justification as helping you grow a channel or anything like that. And as far as growing a channel, I this channel is not about me growing a channel, becoming a the next uh what's his name uh CG Guru CG Matter or whatever. I can care less about that. This is purely because I love Octane, I love Blender, and there's a lack of information out there, and I'm trying to get some more information out there so other people can grow and build, and then next thing you know we'll have the next Blender Guru of Octane or whoever that will be. But hey, I'm just getting this stuff out there, right? But let's get into it. So what we did was, we if you saw my past video, I showed you guys how to set the whole denoiser up, right? You come in here, make sure your, your denoiser is checked. And again, I'm just using this. I just use the stock default settings at this moment, right? Actually, I did turn off denoising on completion. I turned that off, right? And then I went into my view passes and then I went into right here and I changed it from beauty to denoising beauty. And then from there, I went and did what he said about the cores. What did he say? Okay, he said add 1024 and then his was 500 megabytes. So I literally just went inside of here and I just literally went plus 1024 and then I changed this to 750 or I just added 500. You can do the math inside of here, you know, if you just hit the plus sign and stuff. So, you know, Blender smart like that. Okay. And then I turned that on and then immediately, so I'm going to go ahead and fire up the render. Okay. Now this is what it typically did to me before. It was like really long time to, to, to crank on these samples numbers. Normally I would already be on 15 or 20, but it is taking a lot longer. So again, um, I've seen in past videos, uh, another guy who does blender octane stuff for architectural visuals. He does say it takes sometimes depending on your GPU, it goes faster and some older GPUs, it goes quicker. It doesn't matter. So it's, it's different, but still we can clearly see it's extremely noisy here. And I'm at four samples, but the denoiser they directly again is not going to kick in between 10 to 20 samples. So right now we're at four samples. All right, so I'm at 11 samples right now, 16 samples, and you can still see it's super noisy. We got all these little fireflies, but let's wait. We haven't hit 20 yet, so now I don't know what's going on. Now I'm at 32 samples and it's clearly not working. I just did this like right before I started recording and it worked. Like I saw the denoiser kick in and it was like, whoa, it, it's, it's actually working. Now I went and started hitting record. I don't know. And now it's not working. I don't <laughs> 
I don't know. Maybe it's maybe because I'm screen recording and my laptop is just like, yo, you're trying to do too much. But I want to put this information out there regardless. I'm still going to post this video because it worked. I saw it work and it kicked in. So try that. Turn on the out of cores. Add the give it a shot. If it's not working for you, it's not going to hurt you to try because guess what? It might work because I know it worked. It just worked before I started screen recording. So I'm going to try one more time. But maybe what I'm going to do this time is do it on completion. And I'm going to stop my screen recorder and, and see if it kicks back in because it might just be a resource issue that um, I may, you know, my laptop is not equipped for what I'm really trying to get out of it. Um, this, I appreciate this little laptop, but it's a true workhorse. So let me go ahead and try again. If you don't succeed, always try again. All right, guys. So, yes, it did work on completion here. It did kick in. It did work, but for some reason, it wasn't working when I chose uh, Denoise on completion while I'm doing the video. I think it has to do with my resources again. But check this tip out, guys, and see if it works for you. So, like, I'm, I'm super happy with, you know, the results from releasing that video because everybody was so supportive of each other and helping each other out oh guys don't forget i also do have a discord server if you guys want to do the discord thing we can jump in we can continue to solve these issues to go i don't know why i'm looking at my light here next to the side side of the camera but you know uh link i'll put the link down in the description you can jump in the discord server we can always you know it's, it's better to have more minds than one mind working on a problem, right? We can all uh, solve our issues together. Link will be down in the Discord uh, if you guys want to jump on that. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I got some stuff brewing up, but I got to do, I got to pay the bills. I got some light reviews I need to do. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Patrick LeVar, keep rendering. It's the only way we'll all get better.